He shouldn't have been in the lab anywhere near this place, and you know that. I'm sorry, but the photographer's been removed now. Listen, so... mate, they follow my wife 24-7, and they're going to be back, and you need to do something about that. We have now. You just need to calm down, mate. Right? <laughs> this place is a joke. They dumped me out here in the middle of nowhere where the paps wouldn't find me. Liam, and now Liam, look what happens. Liam, we just need to get you to your room and call the doctor. I don't need a doctor. I need you to provide some decent security. Hey, it's OK, mate. It's OK. You're just cramping up. Come on, we'll give you something for it. Come on. It's fine, but I've got to walk. Hey, hey, listen. I don't need to be here. I want to call my wife. I want to see Ash. I want to see Ash! Wow. I, um... I didn't even know you had a boyfriend. Yeah, well, we met when I was in year eight, and we've been pretty much going out ever since. We broke up two weeks ago, which would make that the fourth time we've broken up in the last six months. But you were crying this morning. Yeah, well, Lockie, he's been trying to patch things up, and I thought maybe I should listen. But then he told me something that he did when we were going out, and I just kind of lost it. I don't think I can ever talk to him again. But, you know, it's for the best. Really, it was over ages ago. I mean, all we do is fight. Oh, cool. uh, we've just grown apart, I guess. I mean, Lockie might be older, but he can just be so immature sometimes. It's just like we have nothing in common anymore. I went through the exact same thing with my ex. That girl, Nicole, right? The one who arrived in a taxi straight out of Sex and the City? <laughs> yeah. She didn't really seem like your type. Oh, well, Nicole's a great girl. She is. We're just not meant to be together. But look, this is about you, not me. Sorry. No, I, I feel so much better just talking to you. Thanks for wagging. <laughs> Never done that before. I'm glad you did. And what are you going to do if I don't? Call me names? Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you. Try to stop it. Uh, getting your girlfriend to fight your battles, hey? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing, obviously. Copeland spoke to me this morning. He wants us to clear the air once and for all. And I figured out how we can do that. Yeah? You and me fight after school. <laughs> what are you, stupid? He's not going to fight you. Guys, the bell has gone. Go home. Going, sir. If you're up. So, what's going on here? Just clearing the air, sir. Everything's good. Mm. Well, I guess your girlfriend's spoken. I know you didn't have the guts to go through with this. You're on. Tonight, at the caravan park. going. But I saw what happened with your wife. I just wanted you to know if you want to talk and I'm here. You. I can't do this by myself.
next time on Home and Away. You're such a hypocrite. You're just jealous because I'm seeing someone else. I'm seeing someone too. And unlike you, he knows how to satisfy me. What have you lost? An earring. When did you wear them last? I don't think you're getting out of this. When you were in the SAS, did you learn any special fighting moves? You mean like the one where you poke someone in the back and just suddenly paralyse them? You and me, it, it's not gonna work. What do you mean? Where did this come from? It's Charlie's. It couldn't be. Charlie!